I have the creature duplicated six times, so total seven objects, and I also duplicated the input connection, so every creature we have have a MI sub deep approximation in it, so all of them taking the same approximation, node one, and they're all sharing the same shader. If I try to render this, I will get this error, mental array out of memory. I'm using Windows 32, so I don't have a lot of access to memory allocation here. So this would be a problem you might be facing when you work, for example, on a machine such as mine, Windows 32, and you don't have a lot of access to memory. For this, the uh, MIP binary proxy comes in handy. So let me load up my other file. So here we have also a total of seven objects. All of them are sharing the MIP proxy node 1 and that node is calling the mi temp file that we created. I'm going to disable write to geometry and just render the scene. You see now the render is done 2 minutes and 20 seconds and my machine didn't crash. Now you understand why would the MIP binary proxy comes in handy because it's reading one MI file and it doesn't have to tessellate all these objects because all of them have a subdivision approximation on them along with the displacement, just different color variation and still the render went through. There's still a couple of things I'd like to talk about so I'm just gonna go back to my very original file. We have here an object that's referencing an MI file which is the same idea we've done before and the render will come up like so. So if you notice that both objects are almost the same scale, but what if this object is scaled to 2? And I'm going to repeat the same steps again. Go to my binary proxy, call for that file, and we're going to call this scale and render. Rendering is complete. I'm going to go check my temp folder and I see that the new file has been placed in here. So everything seems to be working. I'm just going to disable write to geometry and render my scene again. You'll notice here the scale did not change at all, and that's because the mesh node in here, the scale was not to 1, it was modified. So when you need to do that, if you want to have the scale such as this, what, one thing you can do is to modify freeze transformation. So set it to 1, and if I go back to my proxy and write it and do the steps again, render is complete, disable the right to geometry, and render one more time. So let me keep this image. And now you notice that the render has respected that change. So let me undo until we get back to the original state. What I've done, I just rewrote the MI file. So the dummy object now representing the original one at the same scale, and here's the render for it. So we're back to the original state. What I want you to pay attention to is that if I scale this object, example like this, and I render, it will respect that change. So this is something that you want to pay attention to. You want to have that scale still representing the multiplication of that change. So for example, the original was 1, and then you multiply it by 3 or whatever. You want to keep that there. Don't do modify freeze transformation because that will confuse your render and you get uh, strange behavior in here. All right, so back to 1. While we are at the topic of scale, I want to point out the last option we have here, which is the meter scale. So for example, if we are using this, we're going to write to geometry and leaving it at zero that means automatic detection that every unit becomes one meter and saved as when that file gets saved to it but if you give it a unit of one for example and re-render that the render process is complete the key now i need to save that file to disable the right to geometry and now i can modify the meter scale to adjust it to whatever value i want so now if i can put it to three here and render view you'll see now the scale has been added into your render. The trick is that you need to add that modification and then save your file. The last thing here is the flags and reading from the production MI file, you'll notice this flag to be used when there's future development happening on this node. I would leave this to zero for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this session and I'm looking forward to talk to you more.